That movie was amazing. No pun intended though. What is poppin' YouTube? It is your boy, Matthias Rex. And I'm here today to talk about the Spider-Man Far From Home movie. Now, I went to go see this movie uh, last night with a couple friends, uh, you know, opening night. I had to go see it right away because, you know, for my, for my, my boy Peter, right? Oh my gosh, I loved it. It was great. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep spoilers completely out of this review. This is a spoiler free zone here, folks, because I know a lot of people haven't seen it yet and the movie just came out. I just wanted to put my opinions out there. But yeah, let's get into it. So I tweeted out yesterday, right after seeing the movie, that Far From Home is better than Endgame. Give it a sec. I'll, I'll let you go follow my Twitter account, you know. You could pause pause the video right now, actually. All right, you did it? All right, cool, cool. Now, we, now we're back, right? Now you follow me. It's lit. You know, we get Now, anyways, um, I tweeted about that, and I said Far From Home was better than Avengers Endgame. It was so good. Knocked my socks off, I thought. Um, and I'm thinking about it now, and whereas it is a great movie, maybe it's not better than Endgame. You know, maybe they're on par. Maybe they're at around the same level but far from home was really really good and i think the fact that i even went as far to make a statement like that like right off top is like saying something about the movie uh i really just enjoyed the way they did the villain now i'm not gonna say who it is because to some people it might not be as obvious if you don't really know spider-man comics like that or know spider-man villains you might not exactly know right away who the villain is if you are the casual comic book movie watcher, you know? But um, I was really apprehensive about the villain for this movie. Those of you who know the comics and know about these things uh, and probably know who it is, you know who I'm talking about. I was, bit, I was a bit apprehensive because I didn't think they would do him right. I didn't think that they would make it um, like, like good enough and like really push the limits and the boundaries of what this villain does and like what his powers are, his abilities, and like how all these things kind of um, wrap into the way that affects Spider-Man, those struggles for Spider-Man, but they did an amazing job. And if you haven't seen the movie already, you'll know exactly what scene I'm talking about when you see it. It was just great. Like this, that was everything I, literally everything I wanted from that villain, they did for that. And it was awesome, it was great. Get up there, stay up there. No, stop. Don't move. I'ma hold you. I got my Spider-Man comics in the back, you know what But anyways, they did a really good job with that villain, and I really just loved the effects and all the things that they got going with that and how they portrayed his, his powers, his abilities. One thing I really always love about just Spider-Man as a character and Peter Parker is just the way he overcomes things and he overcomes obstacles and things like that. And when things are thrown in his way, it's like so much of an internal struggle of like, hey, like I'm Spider-Man and I have to do these things and I have this responsibility, I have to take this. I thought it was just really cool, like just to see, it's always so empowering just to see Spider-Man like tackle those challenges. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal did great in the movie. Uh, I really liked his acting. Uh, I really liked uh, just the way he kind of portrayed the character that he was uh, chosen to play and like just how he got into it. Funny story, actually, me and a friend, uh, I don't know if you y'all know the boy Flesh Monk, go check out his channel, you know, I'm gonna leave a, maybe a link in the description, just link on my, on my channel, just go see it, you know, it's there, right? Me and the homie Flesh Monk, we, we seen, we got a story about Jake Gyllenhaal, we seen this man in person, in real life, in the city, around Times Square, we were just walking around, chilling, going on our, uh, usual comic book, uh, route, when we go looking for comics around there, Midtown, and... We, we, we came across this theater, there were a bunch of people who were like, what, 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 what were they doing? Like, who are they looking at? And we see Jake Gyllenhaal, and the first thing we thought was, we should punch him in the face! I know, crazy, I know, right? But like, think about it, like, the easiest way to get some clout mad fast, punch Jake Gyllenhaal in the face, man. What? I thought Jake Gyllenhaal did a really great job. Um, Tom Holland, again, as Spider-Man, does really good. Um... But yeah, the story was cool. Uh, it, it went along kind of well. The pacing, I thought, was pretty nice. Um, now, I don't think the movie was an amazing 10 out of 10 after having some time to mull it over and think about it. I think it's like a good 9, maybe 9.5. But uh, I really did um, enjoy it 
a lot and I really did enjoy mostly just Spider-Man and the villain. <laughs> Uh, the other characters were cool and like they were funny and like witty at times and like his classmates and things like that and their whole trip and that whole dynamic and Nick Fury was a cool you know little addition to it too. Now this movie as we know is the last movie in this phase of Marvel right so after Endgame the Avengers have done their thing you know Thanos has been defeated all that this movie is the last movie in that phase and I think it did a really good job kind of wrapping it up like tying up not the loose ends really but just just like a nice little cherry on top after endgame because endgame kind of closed out the entire saga the entire infinity war saga and then spider-man was kind of just like a nice little like tidbit and it didn't really give a lot of information about like what they want to do further on with like the whole thing and i think that was good because they kept it very spider-man focused and spider-man centric and didn't make it about the entire marvel universe and how it's going to go on in the next phase the next couple of movies like after leaving that theater i'm still guessing like what they're gonna do in black panther 2 uh doctor strange and i like that this movie was kind of a nice standalone singular spider-man story and didn't really play as much into like a larger narrative it was cool to finally see something like that again and i think as just an ending to the whole phase like a lot of people usually watch marvel movies expecting to see something about another marvel movie or some connection to this character or that character or that storyline but i think this movie was just like, um, when they made this movie, they're like, we're making a Spider-Man movie. We're making a Spider-Man movie, and it's going to be a Spider-Man movie just about Spider-Man. And that was really cool, and I liked that a lot. Like, of course, like, you know, Nick Fury is there, S.H.I.E.L.D. or S.W.O.R.D. or the heck the, the, whatever the heck they're calling it now um, was in there. But it really kind of was, like, very Spider-Man-centric and gave, like, a nice message about kind of Spider-Man having to take on this mantle of Tony Stark, but... Of course, you know, he's Spider-Man. He has his own identity. He's, he's uh, you know, friendly neighborhood Spidey. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he doesn't have to really take on that legacy. It's really like kind of like a nice struggle about like, oh, man, like Tony Stark is gone. Like somebody has to fill those shoes and like I'm Spider-Man. It's That's kind of like the whole idea message with this. If you haven't gotten that, gather that from the trailers already. This is no, this is nothing new. These are no spoilers. Don't be down in my comments talking about, oh, Matthias, you spoiled the movie. Listen, but... I think it was really nice um, to kind of maybe just like give a little like a sprinkle of that in there, but not really focus the movie on that. And I really did enjoy it. I would say you definitely got to go see it. You watching this video right now? What you doing? You if you haven't seen the movie, you should be on your way to the theater watching this video. You gotta get your get your black behind, your white behind, your Hispanic behind, your Asian behind. I miss any. Wherever you from, your Native American, get up, go to that nearest theater near you, and go see this movie. It's really good. Um, you'll definitely enjoy it. If you are a Spider-Man fan, you will really enjoy the villain. Um, and I think it was really daring that they chose this villain for this movie, um, just to put him on the big screen. But it was ah, bone, apple teeth. I tell you. But yeah, go check it out. Um, and check out some other videos of mine if you like movie reviews. I did a movie review for us. Hopefully I'll do a movie review for some other movies. I don't know. Um, but it's been your boy Matthias Rex. And I will see y'all next time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Peace.